Marcel Collot was 20, when he fell in love with Marguerite. He met Marguerite, through the Catholic Youth Group. Marcel was sure, that Marguerite is the one, that is chosen for him by Christ. His Catholic faith is, dynamic and joyful. He prayed, every day. Marcel was an outstanding soccer player. He went to, weekly confession. On March 8, 1943, World War II had gripped his city. His city was bombed. And his sister, Madeleine was killed. Marcel was deported to Germany, for forced labor. He went for three months, without his family, and his fiancée. In labor camps, he worked in deplorable conditions. Marcel, sunk into a deep depression. He started having, thoughts of dying. Everything seemed, hopeless. But he found Christ during a Sunday Mass, offered in barracks. He wrote to Marguerite, Jesus told me that, the depression was not good. He rededicated himself, to prayer life. In camp, he comforted his friends. Marcel, would encourage others, to play sports. He would inspire them to, perform plays and pray together. The labor camp guards also noticed, the change in Marcel. He was arrested again, on April 19, 1944, for his activities. His friends asked for a reason, for his arrest. One of the officers replied that, he is too Catholic. Marcel was transferred from labor camp, to a death camp. Marcel suffered from torture, and malnutrition. Marcel continued to pray, and encourage his fellow prisoners. In the face of death, he keeps his peace. He was fearless, and not afraid to die for his faith. At the age of 23, on March 19, 1945, Marcel collapsed and died. His fiancée Marguerite Dernouot, never married. On October 4, 1987, Church declared Marcel Collo, a martyr for the faith. Marcel Collo was talented, and full of goodwill. He struggled with himself and, with his depression. He faced death daily. Marcel, allowed God to lead him, to be fearless. Marcel's story teaches us that, allow God to lead you, to a fearless faith. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Isaiah 41:10. Know your Catholic faith.